Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. I hope you're all doing well. Today's reading will be all about your person, what they're thinking about you, what do they wish they could tell you, and what are their intentions for the near future. And let's jump right into the reading for Scorpio. Sorry. What does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? About the person they're thinking about connecting with. So what is this person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What are they thinking about you? How do they view you, Scorpio? How are they viewing Scorpio at this time? Wow, the Ace of Cups. A lot of love here. A lot of feelings. Feeling like you're kind of over, overwhelmed with feelings, actually, with Ace of Cups. Your cup runneth over. New love, be new beginnings in love, and the chariot, cancer energy. So I feel like this person, when they think about you, Scorpio, they think about, let's just get this started. Because the chariot is all about like goals, being on the path to success. You have a goal in mind, and you're on the path to achieving that goal. So I feel like your person just kind of wants to keep this moving, keep this going. We have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody that you've met recently or will be meeting recently. But, you know, when they think about you, this is this is what they're thinking of when they think about you. Wow, the Four of Wands and the world. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Yeah, they're definitely seeing a future here with you. Whoever this is, they're thinking about the future. And you and them being together, being on this path to success in the future. What do they wish they could tell you, Scorpio? What do they wish they could tell Scorpio? What messages do they have for Scorpio at this time? I'm going to clarify all of these, but I just want to lay down the energy first. What do they wish they could tell Scorpio? Okay, if I could grab the card. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy action desire motivation fearlessness what the queen of wands wants she gets and then there's death so there you are scorpio your energy shows up i feel like they're just ready um they this person what they want to tell you is that they're ready for you they're ready for this connection ready to take action desiring you desiring this connection but also there's something here with a dip, uh, an ending of some sort ten of swords at the bottom of the deck death so this could be something that has ended in their own personal life, something that's ending in your life, Some maybe this connection already had an ending in the past. We'll have to clarify that and see what that's about. But I feel like if there was an ending between you, this person's thinking about just moving past that. What are their intentions for the near future with Scorpio? What are their intentions? for the near future here. Five of Cups, interesting. Five of Cups is all about looking back on the past with regrets, having disappointments. Eight of Swords, oh my goodness. I really hope it's, you know, it's a shame because I feel like this is someone who, they might uh, talk themselves out of something that they desperately want or they might not have the, there might be something preventing them from getting it. So I have the Lovers here, Gemini Energy. Five of Cups, Eight of Swords, and the Lovers. You know, this could be also a situation where your person is a bit stuck. Maybe they don't exactly know how to approach you. Maybe because of the past and the regrets they have over the past, over whatever happened. We'll still have to see what that's all about. But maybe that those um that history is keeping them from making a move here. Yeah, Four of Swords. Even though this is exactly what they want to do. They definitely want a future with you or see a future with you. But for some reason right now in the near future, I don't see them being able to act on those desires. What's this person's overall energy? What is this person's overall energy spirit? What is their overall energy? What is this person's overall energy? What is this person's overall energy? Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. Oh yeah, there's definitely chemistry here. A serious attraction that this person has for you. 
maybe there's a lot of chemistry between you or this person I feel is just really yeah it's it's like consumed it's what I'm getting here all they think about is this okay so let's clarify these energies and get some insight into why this is all happening the way it is Wow, the Ace of Cups when I split the deck as well. Can I get some clarity, please, for Scorpio? What do we need to know? How about these energies here for Scorpio? One more. All right, tell me about this Ace of Cups and the Chariot. This is how they're viewing you, what they're thinking about when they think about you. What do we need to know about this Ace of Cups and the Chariot? There's that Five of Cups again. Yeah, it's it's like there's there's um there's a sadness, a loss, regrets here. I think that you and this person had a lot of potential. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, and something happened. Something happened to kind of. Put someone out in the cold or make someone feel this regret the emperor aries energy and there's a magician yeah your person for some reason what they want with you they can't have right now i don't know what what that reason is all of your stories are going to be different but they want to do something about it the emperor and i think you had a reading similar to this a few weeks ago they're definitely motivated here with the magician, the emperor. These are doers. These are people that take action. What they want, like I said with the queen of wands, what they want, they get. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Does not have to be. But I feel like this person, they're not able to really do this. What they want to make happen, they're not able to make it happen. And I think this is killing them. Like it's killing them that they can't be with you. Tell me about the... Queen of Wands and the Death card. So this is what they wish they could tell you. Why is the Queen of Wands here with Death? Five of Swords, another five. Fives are all about challenges, change. What else? Why is the Queen of Wands here with Death? Holding back with the Four of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So I, I don't think this person has told you this yet, Scorpio. I feel like they've held back how they truly feel. And I think it's because of whatever history exists here. It's like, and I keep getting this energy for a lot of the signs, like someone that, that has their hands tied or they're prevented from taking action. There's that Ace of Wands again with the star, Aquarius energy there. So it's like hope for the future, hope for a new beginning. It's like this person is keeping this to themselves or holding back with the High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles. What do we need to know about the, this energy in here? I got two. Knight of Swords, exactly. Five of Wands, another the last five, and the Six of Pentacles. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So again, this energy of with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands communication right this is what they want to do they want to come in hot they want to communicate but they're not and it, i think it's because of this five of wands it's like they're trying to avoid an argument they're maybe trying to avoid more conflict more drama because they're hoping to balance this out here to do a little give and take in terms of communication i feel like they really want to discuss this Whatever happened, whatever they want to happen here. Yeah, there's a Nine of Cups. This would be like their dream come true right now, to be able to talk to you. Wow, the Tower after that. I feel like this would be a very shocking or um, surprising if they were to like get their wish. Like There's something about communicating with you that would be a Tower of a moment, I feel.
I feel like this person has not been with you in some time, Scorpio. You know what they say, like that cliche, absence makes the heart grow fonder. I think that's what's happened here. So let's look at their intentions for the future. What, what do we need to know about this Five of Cups, Eight of Swords, and the Lovers? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this energy down here? Two of Swords. Oh yeah, there's definitely a block. Indecision, and there's the Eight of Wands. I, I swear, it's like they, are, they want more than anything to take action, to communicate, to do... Yeah, to make you this offer, like... They're very focused on what they want. They know what they want with you. Can I get one more, please? Five of Cups, Eight of Swords, the Lovers. What do we need to know? Yeah, there's a Knight of Wands. I'm going to take this to the Three of Wands with the Lovers at the bottom of the deck. So, once again, fast energy here that I see. The Queen of Wands, the Chariot, Knight of Swords. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Very quick energy. These are people that move and move quickly. They just get out there and get things done. But yet, I have the Eight of Swords. I have the Two of Swords. I have the Three of Wands. It's like they're being forced to wait. And I don't know why. Let's see if we can get some clarity here as to why this might be happening. This, this person is being forced or like held back by something and all these fives tells me that there is some sort of conflict or obstacle here some sort of challenge why is the three of wands here with the two of swords why is the three of wands here with the two of swords wow death scorpio energy there you are again because there's some sort of ending here or change tell me about the three of wands and the two of swords Wow, judgment, holy crap. And then the Wheel of Fortune, you gotta be freaking kidding me. These are major energies that are coming up. This is reminding me of the tower right here. Once again, I feel like there's two ways this, this could be interpreted. First, that this person wants a second chance after an ending. They want something to change in this connection, but they are being prevented for some reason for making this happen and it could be that this is not up to them it might be completely up to you whether this happens second scenario i see is that something has to end right now that's the block something has to end someone has to call the the shots here to change some something to end something in their life to cause a major change that's the only way that they can actually make this happen what message do they have for scorpio what message do they have for Scorpio spirit what message do they have for Scorpio I want a second chance exactly yeah this is definitely somebody that um, they they know what they want with you I feel like something happened between you and let me know in the comments if you feel comfortable sharing what that is but this is definitely somebody that wants to come back in you make me happy the uh, second card there and then at night i think of you oh yeah they're thinking about what they could have with you and they want that they're attracted to that That would make them very happy. That would be their wish fulfilled. What else do we need to know? What messages do they have for Scorpio? What messages do they have for Scorpio? We will be together again. Very clear energy. Now, Scorpio, I feel like um, some of you know this, but I feel like a lot of you don't. I don't think this person has fully come forward because maybe they already know there's many way, many reasons for that for, but for example if they are someone that have to end something now in order to come forward they know that if they come forward empty-handed without that ending you're not interested 
if this is a situation where there is a lack of closure, maybe you had a bad ending between you and they know they can't just show up. They can't just show up because they won't be listened to. So I feel like they need to address something first in a specific way before you will entertain this. And let me know if I'm right about that in the comments. I feel like that's the issue here. They want a second chance with you. They want to be together with you again. That cannot be disputed. It's all over this reading. However, it's not up to them. It's up to you whether this happens, your re like the way that you receive them or th receive their offer is the like the, t the, the only thing that they can go by, right? It's because we want things all the time in our lives. Doesn't mean that we actually get it. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot. And hopefully I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.